Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hus here. Plotstar has just launched, and having played it for nearly 20 levels now, I want to go over the early leveling experience, roughly 1 to 15 within this brand new MMO. MMOs are of course huge games with numerous different aspects, and everyone will be interested in something else, but the early leveling experience is something we'll all have to go through and can definitely make or break the game for many new players. For many players, this is going to decide whether or not they'll find the huge time investment worth it. Every early leveling experience, of course, starts out with the character creation. And if I were to describe Wildstar's character creation in one word, it would simply be basic. Customization definitely gets a lot better as you level up with costumes, dying systems and whatnot, and at that point you do feel as if you have a good control over how your character looks and appears, but the character creation itself is far too basic, and honestly disappointing. They've added in a few set body shapes since my beta experience with Wildstar, but it's nothing special and lacks more complex sliders or even tiny adjustments to things such as height. I ended up creating an Auron Spellslinger. Initially I really wanted to play an Esper because I love their concept, but my experience with this class from 1 to 15 during the beta left me rather disappointed. They felt far too stationary and compared to the other classes, I felt like I was missing out on the action combat style they want to go with Wildstar. So I went with my second choice, Spellslinger, and I can happily say that so far I am very much enjoying the quick gameplay my Spellslinger has. Combat in Wildstar has no auto attacks, a limited action bar set, and focuses a lot on movement, telegraphs, and dodging in and out of those telegraphs while you aim your skill shots at your enemy, and thus far, it has been really simple and it is more difficult to miss than it is to hit with your abilities, but the actual animations and spell effects are simply fantastic. Combined with the interesting enemy creature design with their own set of abilities, combat is shaping up to be an enjoyable experience, from what I can tell so far in PvE. But back to the early leveling experience. Every faction has their own introductory zone. And frankly, these are highly unnecessary. The story is nothing memorable here, Wildstar is of course a very light-hearted and silly universe that might alone put people off or sell the game to them on that basis completely, a very subjective point, but the main reason why I think these introductory zones are pointless is because they grant such a mundane experience while hardly teaching you anything. The best part about them is that they introduce the huge and huge amounts of personality that Wildstar has, and that is by far one of the best parts of the early leveling experience. Wildstar is oozing with personality around every corner, every spell effect, or every NPC, and you can tell they really put a lot of effort into making it look and feel amusing, but frankly, the introductory zones are too long to merely serve that purpose. They won't take you a huge amount of time, but it's long enough to get tedious, especially if you've already created a character from that faction in the past. The quests here are simple, highly guided and uninteresting while you have a very limited set of abilities and simple combat. These zones don't even teach you everything, as they completely neglect to go over highly important systems such as, say, your talents or amps, and these are then all explained in the zones thereafter. To sum up, these first short zones merely serve to fill some time, but don't at any point enhance your Wildstar experience. At the end of that zone you get to pick one of two different new zones to continue your adventure on, which essentially creates two early questing experiences per faction. And although they don't differ a whole lot in how you will perceive them, they do add in that little bit of replay value. But basically, Wildstar would have been a quicker, more enjoyable start had it begun with the choice of these two zones, as opposed to the pointless starting zone. Depending on which of the two you picked, you then proceed to make your way through two complete zones. To sum up, you have a short but rather tedious starting section, followed by two bigger zones, and at that point you'll have spent numerous hours and be around level 14 to 15. Let's begin with the good things about these early leveling zones. For starters, Wildstar has some absolutely stunning environmental design. The zones are really well crafted and look beautiful. Wildstar is of course highly stylized, but it is really a beautiful game due to the amazing animations, creature design and now great looking environments. Simply running around and looking at the different monsters and sections of the map has been one of the most enjoyable parts of the early leveling experience so far. Again, in many of these sections you'll keep seeing that huge amount of personality that has been put into Wildstar. Furthermore, upon creating a character you also pick a path, 
explorer, scientist, settler or soldier and these do truly seem like a nice little addition. They don't impact the leveling experience tremendously but they do add interesting bits of exploring and reward you with helpful abilities. Plus they simply allow you to define your character more. In the case of the soldier, it also seemed like the quest given through the soldier path blended in well with your other tasks. Now, quests. This is basically where I've been the most frustrated and annoyed at Wildstar and why the early leveling experience of Wildstar is pretty mundane at best. You will immediately be met by bad quest design if you attempt to do quests with others around, including party members. One of the worst things quests can do in MMOs is have you compete in a negative fashion with your friends, as opposed to helping each other out and Wildstar will, during the early game, constantly throw quest after quest at you that aren't giving shared rewards. Almost every single pickup quest has items that phase out and can only be picked up by one member. A truly frustrating thing when others are around and it's also incredibly inconsistent as some quests suddenly do. Kill quests seemed okay in that regard, the mob spawn rate was incredibly high and it is easy to get rewards for killing mobs by simply tagging them, but it all felt incredibly mundane and badly designed. The second part that makes the quest design as bad as it is, is in part due to the poor way in which the user interface relays information to the player. I have almost never felt overwhelmed by quests in an MMO, but Wildstar often felt tiresome in the way it overloaded you with information. It certainly varies from quest hub to quest hub, but often you are given far too many quests for one area that easily could have been condensed into fewer quests. Not to mention, while you are doing these, you will be bombarded with challenges and path quests, and add to that the very poor user interface that doesn't do a great way of informing you in where you need to go or what you need to kill, simply because there is so much going on and you have a pretty tedious leveling experience in your early game. That is, until I ran into a ship hand mission. I've only had the option of doing one thus far, but this was truly a good PvE experience. A clear and highly interesting mission in which I went to this zone with low gravity, had a fantastic atmosphere as you hunted for these sort of mutated creatures, and always had a clear goal of what you needed to do. That one ship had mission showed for a moment the potential Wildstar has, as opposed to the poor way the quests are handled. To sum up, quest design is pretty poor, definitely a mundane experience and can even be straight up frustrating. The user interface is really bad at handling information, but hopefully many of the interface problems can be solved by the add-ons created by other players. On the flip side, the game looks fantastic and has some of the most personality in an MMO I've seen in a while. Basically, if you are looking for a good questing experience, you won't find it in Wildstar. It's poor, often annoying, and you just want to be reaching higher levels because the further I got, the more potential Wildstar was showing, as you unlock more and more aspects of the game. So right now, as I am reaching level 20, I've gotten used to the poor way the interface handles and just rush my way through every quest possible, I'm starting to enjoy the game more, as I get access to more it has to offer. I am highly looking forward to the dungeons and adventures, because the group experiences I've had so far feel really promising. And it is then just such a shame that I imagine a lot of people being rightly completely turned off by this game due to its tremendously poor early questing experience. Those are my impressions so far, I know it sounds very negative but that is simply because it has a very bad start. It's getting better and I am hoping it is going to live up to the potential I can see it having. Basically, I'm going to try and more or less review this game section by section, as MMOs are of course huge time sinks. So we'll see how that plays out. Thank you for watching, my name is Binhas, and I'll see you in the next video.